Today I want to show you a new functionality with Lucy 5.3. We added a new way to encrypt and decrypt strings. First off, we start with, with the key. The key is special in that case because this encryption vested has not one key, it has two keys. It has a private key to encrypt and a public key to decrypt. That has a big benefit. That means when you give out the only the publicly key, people can decrypt your stuff, but they are not able to encrypt. So they can't simulate, let's say you might make a license file and only you can create these license files because you need the private key to encrypt it and the, pop, uh, the user only gets the public key to decrypt it or the, the public key is somewhere in the code to decrypt the license. So you only can read it, but you don't can write your own license with different settings. Okay, this method, this function generate RSA keys creates the key. Let's execute that. As you can see, you re it returns a struct and the struct uh, contains two keys. It has a private and a public key. So you can create this key, store it somewhere, use it later, and add, for example, add your the public key to your your code and store the private key somewhere else with code you never give out. So in that example, we now create that key. And then we use that key to encrypt. So we use the already existing encrypt function and we add that string. We add, we define as key the private key and the uh, algorithm in that case is RCA. And, and we dump the output, so the encrypted string. When we look at that, we get the encrypted string as expected. Going on, we now have the full example. We create the key, we encrypt with that private key, then we decrypt with the public key. And we output the example, what should be again, the original text. Executing that, you see, we get back the original text as expected. So this function hopefully is helpful for you in the future with Lucy 5.3.